What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of my Journeys and Ultimate Team, and in this episode we are doing a little bit more catching up, we are just slightly behind, but by the end of this episode we will be right up to date. So we're going to start off opening our Foot Champions Weekend League, this is actually from the Weekend League that I started but was none able to finish due to like the holidays and family, you see I only made it into Silver 2, but nonetheless that gets us a rare gold pack, a mega pack, and 15,000 coins, which isn't terrible I suppose. Uh, the packs aren't all that bad, 25k and 35k packs, so we're going to go ahead and open those up really quick. And uh, in this first one, we don't get any anything too great. And Daye, Cam, 85 pace. Nobody's really going to use this guy. We're going to store that. Uh, we have, of course, the 35K right after. We're going to store all of these guys, discard what we do not need, and uh, move swiftly onto this 35K. In the 35K, we do not get a board in that one either. So that was probably the most disappointing part, to not get a board out of both of those packs. I can't imagine if you were to actually, like, legitly play Weekend League, only make Silver 2, and the players you got were Ta and Indaye. That would be pretty depressing. So... We're going to store these guys. Nonetheless, uh, we got a couple of fitness cards, which is very good because at the moment, we don't actually have a B team, which kind of sucks. Still working on that. But moving on to the next bit of the episode, we are going to do the final day of Footmas SPC, which gets us a prime gold players pack, which is very nice. That's a 45k pack. The chemistry requirement was quite hard, so I had to use a couple of perfect links. The Callum Wilson and Defoe, the right mid and CDM that are both, both uh, from Sporting and, and from Portugal. Basically, everything had to be a strong or perfect link, or it was not going to work because it has 90 chemistry requirement and the I think you were only allowed two players from the same league or nationality or something it was pretty strict SBC anyway we got ourselves a 45k pack to open and we also have our 15k pack which is from this uh, past Sunday for the pre-order and uh, at that point, we're basically caught up with as far as SBCs and uh, pre-order packs go. So after this, we are 100% uh, current. So the 15K pack, we didn't get anything all that great. 82 overall, which isn't terrible, I suppose. We're going to store all that, quick sell the rest, and move on to our 45K pack, which is the one that we're excited about. And in this one, we finally get a boards. After four packs, we finally get ourselves a boards player. And it's going to be a Spanish striker, none other than Alvaro Morata, which isn't terrible because at the time, uh, this, the uh, team of the week packs were still out for it and you needed like high rated players so or the team of the week SBCs sorry were out so, so these 84s were going for something decent so we're going to sell that Kagawa and that uh, Alvaro Morata and we're going to actually go to our transfer list now so these were sold probably I want to say about a week ago so I got anywhere like 3,000 and up most of them I would say I got about 3,500 and up for the 83s uh, the 84s, I only had maybe one or two, so I didn't have much to sell in regards to that. But these last three, you can tell that the 83s had got down in price as by the time that I sold them, we only got 2300 for those last two 83s. And I also sold the Alvaro Morata. So now moving on to today's signing, it's not a huge one, but it is an improvement that I wanted to make. And that is going to be Jordi Alba replacing Gaia at left back because uh, Gaia isn't the greatest. He's not the worst, but obviously uh, Jordi Alba is better. And according to Foothead, a Jordi Alba with a shadow card actually is a 91 overall left back. So if you look at the stats, that is a massive improvement. Uh, guy is going to have to sit on the back burner. And now we're moving on to today's matches. And we are now playing in Division 1. And it's semi-important because we have to qualify for Foot Champions again. I haven't played Foot Champions properly in about two weeks now. So we have to retain our position in Division 1 at the very least so we can get involved in Foot Champions this weekend. With a Team of the Year right around the corner, by the way, I have no idea how that's not a penalty but justice is served because we actually get a goal just uh, seconds after but uh, as I was saying uh, I will be playing foot champions at least one or two of the weeks in January I'm not sure if I'm going to play them all out uh, because to be honest with you guys it's just FIFA fatigue is just settling in it's just so many matches every single weekend but uh, like I said team of the year is right around the corner so we're going to definitely want to stock up on some packs um, if I do play foot champions I will definitely not be opening the packs until team of the year dropped and I'm not sure what's going to happen with team of the year there's a lot of rumors talking about that the team of the year is not going to be the like uh, the ceremony 11, the team of the year 11 voted on by players and, and uh, coaches and things like that. Apparently, it might be a community driven event this time around. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But nonetheless, we're going to need some packs to open. So uh, in this match, we're going to get to the game now. Finally, we are up 3-2 uh, in this one. And uh, th this game was a bit dodgy for us, and it was a we kind of shot ourselves in the foot because if you guys saw earlier on, I had two very very clear cut chances with Suarez to kind of kill the game off. I could have had the game I think either three or four nil at one point, but we didn't bury those chances. We allowed him to get back in the game. Nonetheless, Suarez did complete a hat trick, and we dodged the late bullet there at the end. Uh, who was it? It was Wilfred Zaha was cleaned through, and fortunately for us, the keeper came up with the save. So we won that one three two. Uh, should have won that one more comfortably, but my finishing wasn't all that great. That's probably due to a lack of me not playing all that much. FIFA lately so moving on to the next match and uh, our next opponent had a pretty decent team 
He's playing in a 4-2-3-1. He's got uh, he's got the prime Costa, which so many players have. He's got Nangolin. He's got Martial. He's got Mbappe and Formostafi. Players that are really good and are going to get the job done regardless of who you are coming up against. And early on, we kind of give away a penalty here. I'm not really sure that that's a penalty. I'm literally, like, the ball is a loose ball, and I'm trying to pass it out with the pass button. Pressing X to just try to pass it out of there. And I suppose I may have clipped in, but, I mean, that's just, like, if that was real life, that would never be given as a penalty in real life. The guy would never be swiping at his legs. But this is an ultimate team and not real life. Life, so let's not cry about it too much he does convert the penalty going right down the middle and we nearly equalize through Casemiro but that one unfortunately for us came off of the post but we'll have a look at who pops up with a goal none other than our new signing of this episode it is Jordi Alba drawing this one level at one and then we are going to create a good chance for Suarez here he's clean in and he is going to find the corner making it 2-1 shortly after halftime I believe that was actually a kickoff goal so a bit of forcing for us there you guys know kickoff goals are a bit tricky in this game we're going to pass this one off to Griezmann give it back to Suarez that's some good link up play between our two strikers and we do make this one 3-1 and then there's one final chance in this in this game and it is going to fall to Suarez over here and this doesn't look like the keeper gets anything on it but Ederson just about got something on it because uh, the resulting play after that was a corner so Ederson must have got a little something on that to put that one wide anyway we win that one 3-1 we are sitting on nine points and before I played these matches I already had one game or I had two games played one was a win one was a loss so we're just looking to uh, basically, at the very least, hold my division. I don't really care if I get the title or not. 15,000 coins is nice, but I'm more concerned about uh, getting a spot in foot champions. Now, moving on to the next match, this guy had a 4-3-3. He had Tolisso at center forward, Lewandowski at Cam. It was kind of obvious what he was going to do. He switched to a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I believe, and he played Alessandrini and Lewandowski up top. And the foot miss Alessandrini was a bit of a handful. I'm not going to lie. You see, he does manage to get the uh, first goal in this one. I actually thought he may have been offside, but after looking at it while I was editing, I mean, I looked back at it probably 20 plus plus times and he was indeed onside after a closer inspection of the clip we don't manage to equalize there with Suarez I choked that opportunity I simply did one too many skill moves I had no like there was no reason to do that fake shot the chance went away and then this guy does indeed go up to nil so that was a missed opportunity for us we could be sitting at one all instead we're chasing the game now we make it to one in the 60th minute there through Griezmann we're going to try to pick that ball up and get this thing going and then Alessandrini on the ball again he manages to kind of get the ball away from my defender and that was a pretty clear-cut penalty. Varane takes him down in the area. Lewandowski is going to step up. He goes right. We dive the incorrect way. And that's basically a GG in the 87th minute. Nothing we could really do about that one. We fought hard in that one. I kind of switched the formation to a 4-3-2-1. Uh, there was moments where the game could have gone either way. I'm not too uh, salty about that loss. Unfortunately for us, we do drop points. And if we want the title... If you guys were curious, we have to win out. That that's how like that's how strict Division One is. You get two losses after that, you have to win your remaining matches. So moving on to the next match, have a look at this team, guys. He's got four prime icons: Henri, Del Piero, Roberto Carlos. Ferdinand. This team is insane. Griezmann is played in behind and as De Gea is rushing me, we managed to get that little dink over the keeper, making it 1-0, which was very good for us. But uh, player of the month, Salah, there he is, and he's going to manage to finesse that one past my keeper. And I believe that was a kickoff goal, so a bit unfortunate to concede in that manner. And he's going to get himself a decent opportunity. There's Alessandrini on the top of the box. I just didn't manage to get the ball off of him. He just kept wiggling away from me, and he had a decent effort from the edge of the area. We're on the ball with Ben Yedder. We're going to wait for Suarez to make his run, and De Gea there with a huge save. I'm not sure if I had time for another touch there. I just felt like I was pressed for time, so I kind of rushed that shot maybe a little bit. There's Alessandrini yet again. He's going to cross that one into the area, and Salah again. It was like not even the icons were giving me the hard time in this one freaking Salah player of the month Salah was all over me and uh, we are actually going to find the equalizer here finally Griezmann's on the ball and he's this is just basically individual brilliance he takes on one he takes on the other just straight up ball rolls in close control and we are going to draw this one level in the 55th minute and this is a great opportunity from him I am really not sure how Alessandrini manages to put this one so far wide uh, considering how well he's done against me in the past two matches so fortunately for us we managed to hang on to the lead thanks to a big miss from my opponent and then what's great for us is in the 85th minute there is Griezmann and that is actually his hat trick he basically put the team on his back and uh, thanks to Griezmann's hat trick we managed to beat this icon team uh, which is which feels very good uh, to be honest whenever I come up against those teams I very rarely beat them so it was nice to grab three points in a match like that now to wrap up this episode guys 
The current team of the week, team of the week 16, is like extremely, extremely good. So I decided to do one of these tradable team of the weeks. Um, a couple of these players are untradable, so I didn't mind submitting them for the SBC. The untradable ones were Sansone at left mid, Pjanic holding it down there in the center mid, and at right wing, we have the boosted Kalibert, which is also untradable. So thanks to the, the boost, he actually helped me get at the 83 rating because you see there the majority of the team is actually 82 overall. So we now have ourselves a guaranteed team of the week, and it cost us absolutely nothing except for just players we already had on our club and some of them even being untradeable so I'm not going to mind doing that at all and as you guys see this pack opening I was very excited because I see we have an English player a cam I'm hoping it's Deli Halley and then the Man U badge shows up and we get the much less expensive Lingard which I guess isn't terrible because we didn't get like one of the bare minimum 81 overalls. We actually got somebody in the starting 11. And when I went to compare his price, guys, you guys see there are bids upwards of 70, 80,000 coins. So I was like, yes, I managed to get a player for 100,000 coins. And you guys are going to see after I look through the pages, I'm like, okay, like people are paying 50, 60,000 plus. I brought his buy now down to 100K. I listed his minimum price somewhere in the mid 60,000s. And I went ahead and just chucked him up there on the transfer market. And then after I was done recording, I went and searched on the market. And by the time, like, I guess because of those were some of the first link arts that went live on the market. When I searched on the market again, there were basically buy nows as cheap as I think 45,000 coins. So that I'm not going to get that much. At the beginning of next episode, I'll probably show you guys uh, show Lingard selling. But I imagine I'm only going to get like 30 to 40,000 coins for him. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you're all enjoying the series. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.